Hello and hi, welcome back to Educate WordPress where we talk everything and all about WordPress. I'm Aisha and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a search and filter option into your WooCommerce or WordPress website. So when you have a website and you need to show your products or uh, something that's uh, there, there is many and you want your customers to uh, identify the products or just to get that uh, right uh, filter uh, or the right post that they need in just few simple steps rather than going over the website and looking for the thing so in order to do do that uh, when you see uh, when you uh, taking an example of an Amazon uh, you can see a search button which is very effective in the Amazon and then there is a filter option through which you can filter all the colors categories or uh, everything like those buttons you can add into your wordpress website as well so i'm going to show you how you can do that so uh, first of all when you click on uh, there uh, in my website uh, i have a default uh, search option in here which is a uh, product product search so when i go inside uh, i don't have a uh, in built search in between uh, this so if you want to search for a particular uh, blue hoodie i have to go there and search for it so you can add a search option and a filter option over here so uh, i'll show you how you can do that what you have to do is you have to click on to the customize and go to the widgets and in here sidebar uh, the, uh, this is the sidebar uh, and if you want to remove anything uh, that is in default you can remove from here you can just uh, click on to here and uh, remove or uh, that you can do that so, so here I'm going to show you how you can add the search option what you have to do is click to add a widget and then search for a search all right so you can add a product search which we already have then we have the uh, search which is just like categories like basically the categories or tags etc that comes in the search option so uh, my search is here I can uh, drag it up all right so I have the search option here but the thing is you can uh, you can't add a filter option uh, by doing this for filter option we are going to install a plugin so uh, let's see how that is done so if you are new to my website into my website sorry in my youtube channel you please subscribe to educate wp as we come up with videos every week related to WooCommerce and webs uh, wordpress so to get your website performance on top so uh, let's get into dashboard and just going to plug in and add new so here I'm going to search for a search and search filter and you must see the search filter plugin here. So I'm going to install it and activate it. So basically this search and filter uh, plugin uh, with this you can add a easy, easy search and filter option. So this can be in the sidebars or anything. Uh, it's just a few simple uh, steps so how this works is you can see the dashboard here you can see search and filter this works on uh, short codes so you just uh, the nomenclature is given down here you can use any of this if you want to show your category post tag format product category product tag uh, product tag or whatever you can just uh, copy paste this uh, with this so this is the uh, normal uh, code i'm going to copy it and also i'm going to uh, copy uh, so if you want to uh, you you need a filter of your uh, post or pages you can use the uh, default one like uh, here we have the post tag uh, or category you have that like post type this are the post type these uh, three are for the post if you uh, if you are directing to your blog post or anything you can look for that but if you want to uh, have a product like uh, mine is a WooCommerce website so uh, I need the product category and product tab to be visible so I'm going to uh, copy this and uh, write with or copy uh, uh, paste into this uh, default uh, short code so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a post and I'm going to edit edit it and paste that into this page. 
so uh, i have just pasted it so what you can do is uh, by default uh, this is the uh, category like this is the uh, thing that's given there but uh, i want it as product one right so i'm going to write product category all right and i'm going to write here as product tag all right so i'll just update the page and let's view the post so you uh, now you can see that there is a category this is search option then there is a tag option so you can see all the uh, categories here so i'm going to click on accessories then tags there are colors of this accessories like i'm going to choose green and just submitting you can see uh, i'm sorry oh, that category doesn't exist so i'm going to hoodies and submit yes so uh, my uh, the green color hoodie uh, what i what i gave as a ca uh, category it just uh, gave me back the result so that's how it works but if you want to have an advanced uh, filter option to be visible uh, right here and without short code and just the drag and drop option you can also go for a, a pro version of this uh, of this uh, search and filter uh, so you have to go to searchandfilter.com and you can buy it or try a demo and you uh, buy this demo you can see there is a uh, there is different types of categories that are available and also you can choose the price range or date or order like all those things like all these things can be uh, set up using the pro version of uh, search and filter so you can check that out i'm just uh, going to leave that uh, link in the description so uh, that's how that's how you can do a search and filter option into your uh, website and it's just a few simple steps if you want to have an advanced one you can always go for a pro option so that's it that's all about today's video bye